What's your go-to comfort food in Japan? I think I've ever asked oh, you this. Man, like go-to if, comfort food. Like I, you're, you're not concerned about calories. You just want something that's kind of quick, but it's, what is, what's the go-to comfort food for you? I mean, it's, it's tough, right? There's actually, there's a two-part answer. Okay, okay, One okay. is okay. if I'm craving something Western because I yeah. miss right, that of aspect of my life, yeah. it'll probably be Mexican food. Oh, yeah. I, I just love Mexican yeah, food. Yeah, for sure. And um, if it's the Japanese side, it's ramen. Ramen, and yeah, th these yeah. are such unoriginal answers. Yeah, I know, that's fine. but like, I, yeah. that, but it makes, makes sense. Some these are just food. great yeah. comfort foods, and yeah. like a tonkotsu ramen, like with oh. spinach, and like it, it's good. It really anytime after two p.m. until four a.m., I would eat that any any time. And then yeah. uh, Mexican food is just goaded. Oh yeah, we always yeah. go to Mexican yeah. food places. Yeah. It's it's so weird because Mexican food was never really part of our palate growing up in the UK. It was mm. so hard to find a Mexican food restaurant, uh, and now. You know, it's it's weird growing up now. Now I have cravings about cuisines for cuisines that I never had growing oh, up. My mom used to always make those uh, old El Paso starter kits. Oh, yeah, those are great. <laughs> I've been, uh, yeah, yeah, actually, the, those the hard like, shell ones. Yeah, uh, no, 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 there's, there's hard shell. shell there's also shell shelf ones too. Th those are goaded though. I, I still have cravings for this uh, because dude, I, I still, I still, not, I still yeah, remember like, the ads. Yeah, and I, my mom used to make the fajita one all the time, and I just think they taste so. Oh my banging. god! Yeah, these are great. These these are still goaded. I still old El Paso. I still fuck with Mexican it. style. <laughs> but like, I still remember the ads. Because you can like throw in just a bunch of chicken and a bunch of peppers. And yeah. You're like, man, I feel kind of good about this. Like, I don't feel awful. I mean, yeah, I yeah. still sometimes do like breakfast burritos in the morning. Absolutely. Yeah, with That's like some chicken and spinach and stuff. Like, it's it's good. But when, whenever I go to God, uh, whenever I go to California, I'm just reminded how <laughs> goddamn good Mexican food yeah, is. Yeah, it's, it's really unfair. Yeah. That breakfast burrito we had. That was, was amazing. Because I feel like a lot of breakfast burritos. My, pro my problem is is that a lot of the time. Uh, all the ingredients don't really blend well sometimes. Mm. The egg is too scrambled or the bacon mm. is too overpowering. And so it's really easy to get a breakfast bagel that's just like kind of like egg and bread. And you're like, yeah. uh -huh. oh, sorry, breakfast burrito. And mm. so, but in California, man, oh, they just go. Yeah, they figured they it out. so hard. I do miss the Totino's pizzas from when I was, a, these were like 79 cents. The little cents. ones? Uh, the they're little like, ones? They're like, yeah. they're like this big, you know, they're like, not the little, no, no, you're talking I, about pizza. The pizza little, rolls. Yeah, pizza rolls, also Totino's. But yeah. the Totino's pizzas were, I think that sustained me through college. Is it Totino's or Tostino's? I don't know. It's either Tostino's <laughs> or Totino's. I think it's Tostino's, Totino's right? It's maybe we I'm have not, I've never off. even had this, by the way, but it's I. A, it's yeah. A, is it Totino's? Yeah, it's Totino's. Okay. Totino's, yeah. Totino's. Yeah, yeah, I know my Totino's I, I pizza. But even not the pizza rolls themselves because those were a uh, delectable <clears throat> snack, but the the old 79 cent pizza. <laughs> have you seen this? Have you seen this one? What <laughs> in the hell have you done? Faze Clan oh, has yeah. one? Faze Clan orange, orange chicken. chicken Totino oh. pizza roll. I'm never moving I back. I did <laughs> see someone on TikTok make a breakfast burrito with that and it was the saddest like, thing. <laughs> yeah, like, no, I, I think to eat you've took me off of Totino's completely Buffalo now. Buffalo style that. chicken pizza snacks. Yeah. That's just not what I'm looking for. But yeah, <laughs> uh, I do miss cravings, but you know what? I, I think Japan is one of the great places on earth that you can really go outside your house and find 25 different things to eat sure. for yeah. really yeah. affordable prices. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. we're pretty lucky in that regard. Yeah, my, my brother's visiting right now and he's uh, just amazed at how cheap everything is. And I'm like, well, you bear in mind well, that yeah. the yen also. Yeah. The yen keeps tanking. It, it did tank. You know? It came at a good time. Yeah. yeah, I was like, you you have a very good rate right yeah. now. Every, every week I'm like, oh, it's a new record low. That's that's great. All but my he went money. To, he went to Ichiran and he loved it. Ichiran's not bad. It's a I good like, little chain. I, I, it's I love favorite. Ichiran. I think mm. it's still good. I know Joey hates it. Yeah, I think it's overrated. Look at how smug he looks. It's overrated. But the noodles spot. are not very good. I think good. it tastes great. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. the most I five like out of 10 thing ever. Well, um, still, I like ramen, but I it's think McDonald's the- McDonald's of ramen. Yeah. It is, which I, it's a comfort. Yeah. But I'll never line up for it. I know these people who fucking line up for 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> psychotic. What the fuck? Psychotic. Stop. Yeah. The, the big thing about America though that surprised me because we just came back yeah, did, from yeah. Las Vegas mm -hmm. to Los Angeles was, my God, the prices of food is insane though. I went oh, to yeah. a sandwich yep. place and I was feeling <sighs> pretty badass. I was like, don't worry oh, guys, no. <laughs> yeah. I got it. And then uh, we got five sandwiches and these were just like normal Italian, but some mom and pop store. They were there. very good. They were yeah. very good. They oh, were really? they oh. were very good, but and then I, I I was like I have a card and I thumped it down on the table like I was the king of all creation, <laughs> and then it was like 
beep, beep, beep. And I was like, what's going on over there? And they're like, sir, it's been declined. And I was like, let me take a look at it. It was $125 for five sandwiches. $125 We're in LA. $25 a sandwich. Was that the It was 20 to two, $20 to $22 per sandwich. And I didn't even include the tip yet, plus taxes. And then of course somebody- What the fuck was in a caviar? Well, That's what okay. I thought. It and was, to be fair, it was some fancy Italian one. <laughs> well, it was, they baked their own bread, which is something. <laughs> <laughs> we're in LA. We, we can we listen. We can go. We can go. Las Vegas. It's LA. LA. Oh, this, okay. these are LA that prices. Makes sense. Okay, LA. That makes sense. And it yeah. was because you added the burrata to each sandwich, which was like an extra five dollars, which is Man. A, way way of a price of burrata. And, well, anyway, I was like, try this card, please. And then they were like, it's been declined. And I was like, here's all my money that I brought. And then, you know, I was embarrassed. I couldn't believe $125 for, yeah. for five sandwiches. That's just, like almost 20,000 yen. It is. Yeah. Isn't that insane? Yeah, we, we, did, we did have this discussion of like how that would be a full on restaurant meal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'd be like an omakase, With, like a, a recommended sushi course for yeah, that yeah, kind of yeah, price. Yeah. With like alcohol and a bunch yeah. of yeah. yeah. It is, it is absurd. Well, I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, everything, everything was so expensive. Yeah. yeah, I feel bad for my Americans there out was, there. I understand. <laughs> your pain there was this now I, now I know why every american just like whenever they come to japan it's like a kid in a candy store they're mm. like i could buy everything like, this is only three dollars we had a, a night crazy free in los angeles and um we we were gonna go out to uh <laughs> <laughs> so, can i tell this story <laughs> we we go out to this uh we found this cool gaming bar well yeah. he found it i and, found it and yeah. uh, it was like 20 minutes away we're like yeah fuck it let's go yeah let's do it no so problem. we go over to this, this gaming bar <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's in like kind of a, I would, I would say it's a little sketchy area. It wasn't like, it was, uh, it, was it wasn't like the best. Anyway, so the security at the, at the door of this bar uh, mm -hmm. and we go in and he's like, security can we see you? For a barcade? I'm sorry, yeah. who's yes. going into a barcade yeah. and causing troubles? <laughs> okay. But so, we, you know, we, we go <laughs> in and uh, we're sitting there and uh, we just had like a, such a long talk with this Uber driver as well. It went on for ages. So I was, right. I felt like I was like, I was like, okay, let's play some games. And it looks amazing. There's so many like old retro games. There's a giant list of craft beers and food. And I was like, oh, okay. And it's good. all kind of tucked behind this glass where you yeah. can see it all. Yeah. Yeah. You can do anything you want for yeah. the next six or seven hours. Yeah, yeah. it's and, beautiful. Uh, we met with this kind of like, what I can only describe as, uh, <laughs> Um, what's the what's the old guy from Breaking Bad called again? Mike. Mike. It's like Mike esque kind of yeah. security guard sitting there, and uh, obviously, obviously we're in LA, and it's very common where they'll ask for your ID. Yeah. Uh, and you know, normally you can kind of get away with whatever ID you have. So, I, but I haven't had my passport, and I show it, and and Pete, you show your Japanese card. He's like. What is this? <laughs> I was like, well, it's an ID from Japan. That is a nation. He was like, I'm gonna need to see something with letters. Yeah, he said <laughs> he said something with letters. And I, I point out to him, I'm like, oh, you know, this, you know, the date of birth is, is right there it's, in, it's in, in numbers. numbers. Numbers, numbers yeah. are universal. Uh, it's just date of birth in English. On, and he was on doing all the stuff. He was holding it up. There's not even a light to hold it up to. He's like in this dark piece, like, I've never seen nothing like with these squeaks. And I was like, there's also letters on the top that says nation and like date of birth. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. written in English. It's yeah. written in English. And he was yeah. like, I'm not gonna let you in unless you have your passport. And I was like, well, now you're doubting that I'm American. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where do you think I'm coming from? Yeah. <laughs> or it's, it's either you doubt- about your high school years now. Yeah, he's, I was like, yeah. he's bullying me. Yeah, he's like, oh, I can't let you in unless I scan it. And I was like, scan what? Like, what do you mean? Like. <laughs> I'm like, not to, not, you know, not to be mean, but you don't luck under 21. <laughs> you know, well, some would say. Yeah, it, was know, dark, uh, it, was, it was on the 20 fence. Maybe, was, 20 maybe, 20 to 22 is what no, I usually you know, In England, it's like the challenge 25 rule. Uh, well, there's no such thing in the UK of, if you look old, they're not gonna fucking, no, they're not old. But well, yeah. if you look experienced yeah, and mature. Yeah, they're not gonna yeah. fucking Giga say Chad that. Giga-chad-esque, <laughs> season three. Um, but no, I was quickly humbled and there was nothing on earth we could do yeah, other would, than show my passport. In. What and the fuck? He denied yeah. all sorts of my other cards and, and different, you know, health insurance. And he was like, unless it's got letters, I can't scan it. And we were like, all right. So we had to turn away from this glorious, yeah. uh, blinking, shining <laughs> thing. And I took you to the worst fried chicken place. <laughs> and all we, we of passed uh, this sports bar that looked kind of cool. And it had like yeah. a retro sign of punch out outside. And it looked really mm. cool. And the lighting was awesome. We, we sit down and uh, I got the chicken tenders as a child yeah. would. You got, you got a bu chicken burger. I did. And uh, they were just, it was like, what, $15 for this thing? And it was, they were yeah. just like, 
like, like frozen nuggets. <laughs> it was horrible. It was the worst. I, I found out something, by the way. So I, so I felt so, I was like, don't worry, Connor, I'll pay for this. He was this. very annoyed. He was very upset. It down and they were like, it's been declined. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was, no, I, I, this one, it, it worked. Oh, and yeah. uh, we got our thing. You know what I found out? All of that was vegan. That's why it was. Oh. So it wasn't a chicken So place. I blame the vegans. Well, Wait, how did you find that? Because I was so upset that I picked the worst chicken spot on the planet. You wanted the reason. You wanted the I know wanted how. to know how could this exist with chicken that this bad? That makes so much sense. It tastes it, a lot better now. I, it was like, uh, it was like, <laughs> it was a chicken tender and it came out looking like uh like a cylinder. Yeah. And I was like, right. what the fuck is this? Like I bite into it. Yeah. yeah. And I, I bite into it and it was like crumbled. I was like, what the fuck is this? And I was in full defense mode. I was like, you know, a lot of chickens, they look like that. It's just the w different cuts. It's just <laughs> an American chicken, you know, it's, it's it we've was, seen it, that before. It was a square. And yeah. I was like, ah, oh, you know, the thighs these days, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and so- They've roided them up. They, yeah. Mm. But uh, kind of redemption arc that they were trying to give chicken. Okay, that makes yeah. that makes me feel vegan a bit better. chicken place. I like it a lot more now. Does it make it better? No, it was still bad food. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Actually, the, the fried place? pickles were good, which Those is a thing I wish yeah. that Japan would adopt and the mm. UK. Yeah, the pickles just deep fried. I'm like, oh. this is great. I love it. <laughs> just deep fried. This is great. <laughs> yeah, that but, was a horrible, horrible um, hundred dollars we spent trying to go to one barcade. <laughs> yeah, damn, hundred dollars. Yeah. I mean, two Ubers plus the, the, oh. the meal, and you're looking at like. And we didn't even do anything. <laughs> so it was- um, Sounds like LA. My fault. Yeah, it sounds like LA. So- Damn. How'd you find Las Vegas? I hated it. No, I'm kidding. It was- it, Vegas well, was cool. Well, I, I think Vegas- <laughs> they, well, I think I said this uh, on the previous episode. Uh, Vegas is like a two day thing, I think. Four yeah. days was just too long in Vegas. <laughs> this is 100% the case. I feel like if you're gonna go and the big thing is, hey, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, let's gamble. I think the Friday, Saturday, finish Saturday night, go back or mm -hmm. Sunday morning is, yeah. but I think anything longer than those 48 hours, you, you just hate the experience by the end. Mm. Yeah. But, um, Personally speaking, I love gambling and I love the, <laughs> I love the idea of, of risking it all where I'm like, you know, all on black. And they're like, you lose. Yeah. Then, or I'm playing blackjack and I don't know the rules that well. I'm like, I'll oh, stay. And they're like, sir, it's eight. And I'm like, I like to live dead. Double it. <laughs> and then he's like, you lose. But it was so much fun for me to, to be a part lose of money. So, Yeah, to lose money uh, with, with, you know, vigor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's if you go out with style, you, have, yeah. you have to go in the mindset of I'm going to lose this money. Well, and that is, does. well, I did Sounds most like certainly. Yeah, I did no, lose. We did lose. <laughs> well, the, uh, the one night, he, he, he got very annoyed at me one night uh, because we were, I'd been losing all night. Mm -hmm. right. I was like, guys, one last hand. We bet it all. <laughs> and, and he had just won a big hand. I uh, did. He just won a big hand. And I was like, guys, if we're going to leave, we should just put all our fucking money on the table. Yeah. And if we lose, we lose. And if we win, it'll be an epic story. Of course we lose. Of course we lost yeah. immediately. Immediately. It was like, a, the, oh, the dealer got 21. Yeah, was, it wasn't even oh, fun. We didn't even get to play it. We didn't even get to play it. Yeah. Because yeah. Vegas has this horrible system where the dealer gets to basically like win instantly. Yeah, insta kill. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's shit. Don't, I mean, generally gambling in Vegas is just a terrible idea in general. But Unless I, you play craps. No, craps. That is a, a, a sport of kings because you control the outcome. No, you don't. You have You don't know how math works. How gambling works. I'm telling you, that's way more skill-based than ever. it is they Oh my God, please do not listen it's to this. This is absolutely incorrect. This is not perfect. This is- uh, Gambling is never a good thing. You should yeah. never do it. But if you want to have fun, craps is fun. Yeah. 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 With friends, the if you are you prepared to lose money. The odds is by counting cards, which is, is that illegal. That's yeah, illegal. Yeah. No, it's, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's no, actually no, just no, no, it's illegal it's, if you get caught. Yeah. No, it's no, no, no. It's also not. It, you can't. It, they it can is, just ask you to leave. They can just ban you. Yeah. It's not oh, illegal yeah. though. Yeah, uh, they can. They can ban you, and they can make you illegal for you to uh, enter foot into casinos. Right. But yeah. it's mm. not illegal to count cards. That's like saying it's illegal to be good at playing like. American football, like, you know, yeah. there's, they, that, well, because that's essentially what you're doing. Like you're saying, hey, you are too good at this. You are, that is illegal. Right. But mm. they have to make it fair. No, all yeah. jokes aside, uh, I just like craps because it, it's, a fun it's the most of, interactive yeah. game you can play. But that's the problem. Lose. The more interactive the game, <laughs> the faster it is to uh, lose money. Yeah. And I feel that's easier. a bit Stockholm scene. Yeah, 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 yeah it's a bit, but I mean, I will- I'm like, I don't mind losing money like that. because it's fun. But like the thing about craps that I do like is that you can put a pretty minimum bet down and just enjoy the atmosphere of the table mm, and not- say. I'm so, I swear. It always starts with a minimum <laughs> bet. It always starts with a minimum bet. When I go back, I'm gonna get back 
that 10,000 I lost. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, I, I broke even on the trip because I didn't invest a lot because you set limits, obviously. And so yeah. I, I just kind of had fun with hanging out with friends. And so that was, yeah. that was a good experience, but won't be going back hey, anytime soon. that's worth soon. more than any money it's in the world. worth more than all we, we, it was, the, uh, the, we were, the real gambling we were, was the friends we made along <laughs> the way. Thing, we didn't lose the friends <laughs> yeah. we made. One fun thing that happened is that we, we were doing craps on that. This, this gentleman came over and it was like he was locked in. Yeah. He was so serious. He, every single turn he would get the dice and he would line it up perfectly and he'd put it on the exact number he wanted for both dice and he would pinch it like this and he would always throw it the same way. Wouldn't say a word and wouldn't get excited about anything. Mm. And uh, he was winning a lot. And then uh, he was just kind of like zoned in. Next day I go to TwitchCon. I'm about to go on this show and this producer guy comes up and he starts doing stuff. And I was like, oh, the guy from last night at the table. What? Yeah, yeah. He was that guy? And he was so jovial and happy and talking. And I was, it was just such a different energy. And I was like, yeah, you, you won, a, won a lot of money last night. He's like, I was on a tear last night, man. Whoa. I was in the zone. And I was like, whoa, okay, dude. Okay, chill, dude. I just love to imagine the dichotomy between that guy who was like super fucking serious and Pete just going, what? <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone, was not everyone, going like everyone, that. you're supposed to like bring your own energy it was, to it. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I was doing that. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. I was just, let's go. And I was, I was definitely, it was my birthday and it was, I was slightly inebriated. I was possibly maybe shouting repeatedly every two minutes, we're printing money here. <laughs> I may or may not have been shouting that. And uh, yeah. I went on a pretty big tear though myself. Uh, and so- yeah. It's very fun when it all goes well, because it's the, the game pays out a lot, but then it's, it's very, very miserable. It's very yeah. when you lose. Oh, it's very yeah, miserable because the odds of you getting it, yeah. because the game is designed as such that you have the highest odds of losing. Yeah. Yep. And so it just keeps happening a lot of times. Mm. And then everyone's just kind of like, oh. But it's the thrill of oh, that okay. one time you'd wait to fire those the thrill of the hunt. Yep. <laughs> but I, I also love Japanese kind of old style gambling, like Hanafuda or Chin. Mm. Like these are just fun games that even if you don't invest money, the game itself is fun to play. So yeah. I, mm -hmm. I, I, that's where I come from, I guess. I mean, yeah. I, I like games with stakes. Well, me too. Like games. So. It depends how high the stakes are though, you yeah. know? $25. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want a winner and I want a loser. Yeah. That's, uh, that's all that's important.